Hello, I'm Luca Torix, and welcome to part 6 of my Rome Total War Let's Play campaign as Armenia. And things are going on as usual. I think really we should just jump straight into it. We have Hatra under siege, and that situation is looking pretty decent, although the, the Seleucids have quite a few armies hovering around Hatra, so that we will need to be careful of. We did actually become the Protectorate of Egypt last time, something I've never tried before, something which I'm normally too proud to try, but... We desperately needed that alliance with them to relieve pressure in the south so that we could focus on the Seleucids and the Scythians in the north. So hopefully that was a good decision, um, but you know we'll, we'll see as time progresses, I think. It is slightly impacting our money, which is a bit of an issue, but we can always break off the Protectorate Alliance thing if necessary. I think first we need to probably go and deal with Hatra. And we have a full stack army here, although I say full stack, yes it has got four generals but some of the horse archers are looking a little bit battered. But we need to retake Hatra, so let's assault that. And do you know what, I might auto resolve this, I don't normally like auto resolving but we might take less losses this way. And you know, it's a pretty much foregone conclusion we're going to win. Alright, let's try it, clear victory, oh they got a lot of kills though. That's, that's, the, that's the punishment, I guess, for, for auto-resolving. At least none of our generals died. But yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. But okay, whatever. Uh, we will enslave the populace. Why not? Um, so, retinue expands. That is Rusa, Greek, Turncoat. We're very unlikely to be fighting Greek, so I don't know why we've got that. But okay, and a body slave, which is good and bad, to be honest. So... Hadra is now ours once again, which is good. We can't retrain the horse archers. Are you serious? We haven't got cavalry. There's no cavalry facilities over here at all. These guys are also trying to get over, but they're being blocked by this army of Captain Seleucius. So, yeah, although we could all come out of Hatra and fight Captain Seleucius very quickly. Why don't we do that? So you guys, in fact, we'll just have one commander... We'll just bring the rest horse archers. I'm actually going to leave the cataract archers here. We lost a few cataract archers, that's a shame. Either way, you come over and then Captain Athias also attack. Oh, you're going to be too slow, are you serious? Wait a second, if you just come here, surely you're, you're in the zone, right? And then we can both attack, and there we go. Right, we can destroy Captain Seleucius here. It's going to be similar to the battle at the end of last episode, if you remember that. Basically, just a line of horse archers firing in at their hoplites. They'll stand no chance. Uh, so, let's see how this goes. Alright, so here we are. Start the deployment. Okay, so the general's not going to be doing a whole lot, honestly. It's going to be mostly the horse archers. We'll just have them spread in a long line like that, on skirmish mode. You can be at the back. Start the battle. Uh, there they are, and we also have some more horse archers, which is cool. But basically, just walk up to them and start firing. That's all of you, please. In fact, all of you, just start walking up to them like that. Beautiful. Um, and even if we don't technically win this, we'll be able to destroy them so much that they'll basically be nothing. Um, which is how we like it. Or are you going to be cowards? Oh, you cowardly, you cowardly Seleucids. You absolute cowards. Okay. Oh, well, okay. You absolute cowards. You Typical, it was a, it, uh, whatever, okay, I, I thought they were going to be brave for a second and wanted to fight, but apparently not, but okay, that's alright, as long as we can get back into Hatcher, there's no issue, he goes off that way into the fort, don't know if that's really a good thing or not, but okay, uh, Rusa, look mate, just get back into Hatcher, and at least these guys have a clear path to Hatcher next turn, so not too bad, okay, let's deal with what I've been putting off, which is the Scythians, would we rather them attack in the city, probably, let them attack in the city. Get these Eastern Infantry to hold the gates for long enough so that Athias can get back in and win yet another fight. Um, we can't afford the extra mercenaries. We have basically no money. Money is a big issue this campaign. It really is a big issue, and it's part of the fact that it's because I am protector of Egypt. I am aware of that fact. Um, but still, yeah, I'm going to get you to start coming over just to see if you can come over in time. That would be nice. But otherwise, yeah, I'll try and raise as much money as we can. But there really isn't a lot of it to go round. Um, but I'll end the turn. We'll see what happens. The Scythians are likely to attack. And um, what do the Egyptians want with us? They're just kneeling around, okay. Seleucids, are you going to attack? Is the question. Nope, the Egyptians are moving around. The Seleucids are getting on boats. I mean, that's fine by me. Go in that direction. Yeah, fight the Egyptians. 
They're going towards Haptra, definitely. Okay. But we, we would rather fight them out in the open field. Pontus wants trade rights, so that's quite reasonable. I thought we had trade rights with you already, but apparently not. Yeah, trade rights. And look, how about you pay us money and we'll give you map information? Maybe like 800 denarii? That would be nice. And we'll, we'll offer uh, map information. How about that? Yes, okay, so we've got a bit of money now. Lovely. And hopefully that means the Pontics don't attack us again. I thought, weren't we at war with the Pontics at one point? Apparently not. Um, Scythia wants us to become their protectorate. No, I can't, ha I can't have that. I can't. I, as much as I'm tempted, because then it would relieve pressure in the north. Are we actually going to do this? Are we actually going to do it? We're going to have literally no money. We're going to have literally no money if we do this, though. But then we don't have any money anyway. I'm going to say no. Okay. Maybe I should have done that. Who knows? We'll, we'll see very soon. But we need to have a bit of pride, surely. A, a little bit of pride. Uh, di diplomatic information. Uh, Egypt and Pontus are now allies. Oh, that's fine, though, actually. That means we've got a little alliance between us. Egypt, Pontus, and us. And now that... Yeah, and that means that we're now not at war with Pontus. That actually works out quite well. Okay. So we've got a little sort of triple alliance against Scythia. Um, sorry, the Seleucids. You guys all come out apart from you and attack this army. He's probably going to back off as a result. Yep, like the cowardly Seleucid he is, he backs off. Now we might want to fight out here against these two armies. That's a trash army and that's probably trash as well. The Seleucids have got a lot of men, way more than us, but it's absolute garbage. The problem is though, Going out and fighting them there isn't going to benefit us at all. Because they could just easily recruit troops next turn. We need to start taking settlements. Really, we should be focusing on Antioch, if anything. But I think we need to go on the offensive here. So, Rusa, attack this rubbish captain. We should easily defeat them. Um, just stop for a second, because we have uh, another army over here. So, we're going to attack. We're going to attack the Seleucids out here. Two armies. The other army shouldn't be that good. Oh, they've got elephants. Flipping hell. Okay. Well, the elephants should be slower than us. So they shouldn't cause too much trouble. Do they have missiles on them? No. Okay. Well, we'll do our best here. I think we can get a victory. Hopefully, we can wipe out this army. We won't be able to kill the elephants, though. The elephants will be tricky. And if the elephants go towards Hatra, we're really screwed. We'll see what we can do here. We'll see what we can do. This has turned out to be a lot trickier than I thought it was going to be. How are the Seleucids so overpowered? What is going on? Right, here we are. This is going to be a tricky one. This is going to be an annoyingly tricky one. I mean, the tactic is... I didn't... You know, I really didn't expect this campaign to turn out just be me with a bunch of horse archers. But here we are. Yeah, just get in a line like this and start firing at them. And of course, they're going to set up on a nice hill over there. Oh, there they are. Yeah, and they've got another nice hill over there. Okay, well, let's just move forward and start firing. So we're beginning to fire. They do have the hill advantage, but that's okay. They have a bit of light cavalry. We should be able to defeat that pretty easily, although they will be pretty fast. But they'll be about as fast as us. We have a massive amount more um, missile power than they do, which is nice. We just need to make sure we don't get into too much hand-to-hand -hand combat, because that, be, that won't be a particularly good situation. So just run back if necessary, that's it. Not not sure what all my generals are doing all the way back here, but whatever. You have a grand old time just strolling over, that's 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 fine by me. We've already killed a decent amount of them, although some of us have been killed as well. But we need to be wary of the other army, which I'm not even sure what direction they're coming from. Or have they not even turned up yet? Who knows? It's very hard to see them on the map. It's over there, but they're, but they're very hard to see on the map. We're, right, so we've got a unit routing over there. Good, Eastern mercenaries are rubbish. We knew this already, but okay. If the Peltas want to charge, my general will be more than happy to fight you in hand-to-hand -hand combat, my friends. Okay, alright. That's fine. If you if you want to do that, mate, that's fine. Oh, the light cavalry's come over, though. Come on, my general will be happy to fight you. Yep, you're steady now. We're eager. Shaken. Steady. We're basically not going down at all, though, whereas they are wavering. Come on, break. Break Eastern Mercenaries. Oh, it's Eastern Mercenaries. I thought they were Peltasts. Oh, flip. I just charged into Eastern Mercenaries without knowing. Oh, well, they're wavering now. We might as well just finish the job. I did not mean to do that. We are very lucky. I literally thought they were Peltasts. I'm a complete idiot. I thought they were Mercenary Peltasts. 
and they're still wavering. I hate very hard difficulty. It sucks. What the hell? <laughs> it sucks so much. It sucks so much. It's so it's so brutally unfair. It's unreal. Uh, you guys start firing in here. We defeated this first army pretty handily. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to chase all these cowardly Seleucids off, but it's okay. It's okay. As long as we get a decent amount of kills, I'm good. So far, it's 5 to 31%, which is good. My main issue is the elephants, really. That's what I have a big issue with. Right, these guys should be down by now. Uh, no, 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 but you guys don't run into them. Well, actually, you could run into the back of them, maybe. They're wavering, shaken. How are they not broken? Yep, they broke good. Are they going to finally break? Come on, guys. Get them down. We need to turn around and face the other army. So turn around quickly and ignore those stupid light cavalry. And my general can get them down nice and easily. Go on, charge him. Ruza can do that. There we go. Get your personal combat up. There we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right. Now, the second army are going to have a bit of trouble because the first army um, is... Well, they can see. They can see that the first army is not having a good time. They're literally routing through the second army, which is beautiful. Now we just need to start firing on the second army. Unlike these guys. Not the generals, though. Cancel that order. Anyone that's out of our ammo, don't do that. We need to start focusing on that second army now. Trying to avoid the elephants. And in fact, the elephants are on the same flank as my generals. So let's just run. Oh, I hate the controls. Why am I getting so triggered recently? I don't know. But still, yeah, don't go near the elephants. Although they are actually shaken, which is quite nice. But just make sure you avoid them, lads. We should all be on skirmish mode, though. So make sure you are. Make sure everyone's in skirmish mode. Good. The elephants could cause trouble, though. And if the elephants get to us, that's tough. But they are heavy cavalry. We should be able to outrun them. We should be able to outrun them. If we can't, we'll just withdraw. We'll get the orders to withdraw. That unit's broken. Good. Good. We're doing a good job. I mean, we've have, we have actually charged into them when we shouldn't be because we're on skirmish mode. But whatever, I guess. <laughs> just do whatever you want. In fact, firing on the elephants. If we can get the elephants down, that's great because the elephants... The, the, no, 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 no. Don't charge into the elephants, though. Um, the elephants, theoretically, could get into Hatra at any time. And they could break down the walls, and we're not on skirmish mode. I don't know why these guys aren't on skirmish mode. I don't know why you're charging in. I really don't know why you want to die. Why do you want to die? L life, uh, life isn't that bad, my friend. Please don't charge into elephants. Okay? Suicide by elephants is not nice, trust me. I don't know why I say trust me, as if I've actually done it, but you know what I mean. I uh, don't know what you're doing all the way over there. Come back. Make sure you run away. Why do you insist on being off skirmish mode? I don't know what this unit's doing over there. I really don't know. But okay. Enjoy killing those six Peltasts rather than the 78 ones that are over here. In fact, you guys could probably just get rid of them. Or just get rid of something. Just do something. Please. The elephants are causing a bit of havoc. But what I want is these two generals to come around the side and start dealing with the Peltasts. So run, please, if you wouldn't mind. How are we doing? How are we doing? 7%, 68%. We're doing a good job. Just firing on those elephants. They can't catch us. They can't catch us. Get off skirmish mode for a second and hit those peltas. They're shaken, okay? So you can do that. You can do that. Just avoid the elephants. Good, 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 good. Good. What's going on over here? That's fine. The cataphract archers are doing a good job. Those two generals should be chasing after the peltasts. Hopefully they are. Good. Come down the hill. Lovely. We've got another unit broken over here. Don't go too near to the elephants. The elephants are broken. Good, 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 good. I'm still not going to attack them because they can still do a lot of damage while broken. But I think we're going to win this battle. Now, winning the battle wasn't really the issue, actually. It was um, more killing the elephants. But I don't think we're going to really be able to get them down. Maybe we got a few of them down. Not enough, to be honest. Not enough. I'm not sure what's going on over there. Oh, the elephants literally chased my generals all the way across the map. Okay. Don't go into... Oh my god, Ruza is literally in the middle of the elephants. Let's not get trampled by an elephant, please. Oh, flipping hell. Yeah, you guys should be on skirmish mode and getting over there. Right, let's try and kill as many of these guys as possible. Just firing on the elephants who are broken and just being crazy in general. You guys can get rid of those Peltas for me. But otherwise, I think we're going to win. The whole army has collapsed now. You guys, your job now is just to focus on the routing elephants. We've actually not done a bad job. We've killed a lot of Seleucids. And that makes me very happy. Because I don't like Seleucids. They're going on the rampage now. So be careful. Be careful. They're, they're, they're elephants. They're running amok though. Just be careful. I don't know what you're even doing over there. You haven't got any ammo. So just stop. 
This is the problem, right? There's only one unit left on the map, and it's this. This unit of elephants. And they're refusing to go down, and they're actually steady. So if necessary, we might, we might just have to charge in a lot of horse archers at them or something, because they, we need to get them down, unless we just withdrew. But I'd rather not lose the battle, particularly. I want to get that experience. I want to get those good traits for my general. But we're really running out of ammo here. There they broke. Beautiful. Okay. That should be the end of the battle. Right, they've now run amok. What are we meant to do here? They've run amok. <laughs> I don't know. And you know what's crazy right about this? Do you know what's crazy? Oh, first of all, there's still a unit over there. This is a random unit of Greek cavalry. Right, let's get my generals to deal with that. Um, yeah, what's crazy is... There's a unit of Greek cavalry, they're nothing. But one unit of elephants is still making the balance of power nearly a quarter full. Crazy. Let's end this battle. 841 kills to about 50, 60 odd. I mean, that's very good. That's very, very good indeed. But I don't know how much has actually helped in the war against the Seleucids. I'm going to be honest. I don't know how much that's helped. But it's certainly taken a dent out of them. That army has all but disappeared. And Rusa has got a trait increase. He's becoming quite good now. I quite like Rusa. Although he's getting a little bit old for my liking. But still, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Now, can we make it back to Hatra? No, we can't. Great. So Hatra is quite vulnerable. But that's alright. You do get back into Hatra. And you just get as close as you can. If anyone attacks, we'll be in the open field ready to strike them back. We might even go for that soon and try and kill Neoptolemus of Mopacita or whatever it is. Uh, yeah, so that's okay. Now we actually have a bit of money for once. We might as well spend it before the Egyptians take it off of us. Alright, we've spent the money, hopefully on good stuff. Let's end the turn. The Egyptians, you, you, we're your protectorates. The whole point of this, oh my god, okay, so, okay, okay. You, you traitorous, I hate Egypt so much. We've literally given them a ton of money just for them to attack us very quickly. And also I think that was Scythians moving towards Fraspar as well. Why has this campaign turned into such a mess? You're betrayed. We have been betrayed. The false mask of friendship has fallen away, revealing a pox-marked countenance of an enemy beneath. At least now we can see our enemies plainly. And at least we're not giving them any goddamn money either, you traitorous Egyptians. Oh my goodness. Settlement besieged. Settlement besieged. End of turn report. I don't need to see this. At least we're not giving them any money. That's the only good thing. Town grows. Arta Zarta. Yeah, well, you're also under siege. That's pretty flipping useful. Now, admittedly, this army is terrible. I say that. It's actually chariots. But it's still not going to do a whole lot. And actually, chariots against Eastern Infantry aren't going to do too well. But... The, the point is, they've got big armies around here that could be coming for Palmyra soon. So... I'm not going to spend all my time trying to defend Palmyra. My main focus is on the Seleucids. And talking of them, Neoptolemus has indeed decided to attack Hatra. Now let's just sally forth quickly so I can see exactly what he's got. A thousand men. It's not great. It's not great. But they've got pretty good experience as well. So just withdraw for a second. And this army is getting more and more battered by the turn. So we need to attack this army. I think that's pretty plain for all to see. And I think we need to do it right now, to be honest. We need to attack this army, we need to destroy them like we destroyed the previous Seleucid army, and then hopefully that will relieve some pressure off Hatra, and meaning we can start to sort of rebuild and move forward against Antioch. But it's a complete mess, and we're just going to have to hold out in Palmyra for the moment, okay? I'm sorry, guys, but maybe I should have recruited another Eastern Infantry. I didn't expect the Egyptians to be traitorous like that. So maybe I should have. My bad. My, my bad. Uh, I'm just going to have a quick look at Scythia before we do any fighting, though. Yep. I think there might be an army somewhere around here, which I can't see. It is, at the moment, just Sailas, who is determined just to stand there and do nothing. Because he knows that in the open field, he's got the advantage. Let's, first of all, deal with Hatra. This is a battle we need to win. I haven't even attacked them yet, so let's see how this goes. Let's go over to Neoptolemus. I mean, look at the flags. We don't really have the advantage here. Unless I'm mistaken. Oh, maybe we do. Okay, so Rusa versus uh, Rusa and Captain Turdat, T Turdat, against Neoptolemus. Rusa, we need another good victory out of you, bro. We need another good victory. Okay, let's have a look at this geezer's stats. Actually, good commander, command talent, being in the wars, poor farmer. I thought drill master reduces reduced morale. Maybe that was only medieval too, but okay, okay apparently not. I thought drill master was bad, but whatever. Okay, well we need to win this battle. 
and we need to w win it uh, quite convincingly. I mean, I say that, in the worst case scenario, we use all our arrows pretty quickly. Bear in mind, it seems like we've got a lot of units, but they're all battered as hell. But anyway, we use all our arrows, and then we just withdraw back into the city, and we'll, we'll do it again and again, and keep grinding their army down. So, worst case scenario, that's what happens. But anyway, let's see if we can defeat the Seleucids out here, and stop this campaign from becoming even more of a mess. Let's see how it goes. Here we are indeed. It's going to be a similar tactic to the last battle. Spamming the horse archers on skirmish mode, OP style. Let's start the battle. And why is it not bought... Okay, for some reason they've decided to bring these spearmen and not the cataract archers. So the useless spearmen have been brought to the fight. Thank goodness. Sarcasm. Right, they're moving back like the cowardly Seleucids they are, but we are going to keep marching forward. I say, I keep accusing factions of being cowardly, but I am also on skirmish mode every single battle, so in an attempt to avoid any hand-to-hand -hand combat. We haven't seen any hand-to-hand -hand combat this uh, series, apart from when we've absolutely been forced to. But anyway, we are raining down fire upon them, which is good. And yeah, the main objective here, not necessarily to win, but is to just take a chunk out of their army. Now, it would be nice if we could get their their um, their general down. I have to admit, that could be the main target here. If, if he was the main target, that would be beautiful. Maybe just start firing on people, the generals. Just start doing something so you're actually con contributing to this battle. But just stay on skirmish mode, if you wouldn't mind. Bear in mind, their 4% and our 3%, actually, in a, as a raw figure means we've killed a lot more of them than they've killed of us, but still, um, not great. Still not great. Have we got their general down? He's down to 10. That's who I really want you to focus on, killing their general. He's unhappy about taking casualties. Yeah, I don't blame you, mate. I mean, I would be unhappy as well. One of our units is broken, of course, and that's because the Bedouin archers are doing a decent job over there. Their general seems to be running back a little bit. He's a bit scared. If we can get the general down, that would be huge. That would be unbelievably huge. Not just in this battle, but in the eventual um, siege of Hatra. Now, he's down to three. If we can kill him, I'd be quite happy to withdraw right now, honestly. I I'd consider that a victory. Two. Come on, we've got to get him down. We've got to get him down. Or is he just going to rout in a second and get away? Come on, Neoptolemus. How many arrows? I mean, in real life, realistically, are you going to survive that? Realistically. And he's eager. And he's dead! Well, you were eager for a second, and then you were dead. You were eager to die, and that's what I like. Okay, love it. Right. Now you can fire at will, lads. Not you, obviously. Now you can fire at will. Have fun doing that. Um, that's huge that we've killed their general. Even if we take a decent amount of losses here... Killing their general will reduce their morale massively in the upcoming fight for Hatra, and that's huge. So I'm very, very happy with that at the very least. The cataract archers are finally bothered to show up. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. We've got a unit of Bedouin warriors going against our general. That's a little bit annoying. Go on, general. Get out of there. Try and skirt around them. Skirt, 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 skirt. Oh, you freaking idiot. Skirt around them. Run. Run. Oh my god, you really do want to die, my friend, don't you? Okay, don't don't get killed to some Bedouin mercenaries, that would be embarrassing. Don't charge into them, just run. Just run, my friend, just run. I'm actually amazed these four generals have survived for so long. These four have been hanging out for the longest time, it's been amazing. I don't know if we're really... Are we doing a decent amount of damage, actually? We've killed a decent amount of them, we just need somewhere to retrain these guys. You withdraw, because you're only one man. I don't know where you are, but well done. You're the, you're the last survivor of your unit. And that means we can retrain that unit rather than actually having to recruit a new one. It benefits us. Um, you're having a bit of trouble, aren't you? I am tempted to pull the troops back now, though. Let's reform over here, guys. In a position where we're, we're ready to run off when necessary. So that's all of you coming over here, please. And you should be on skirmish mode as well and running. Come on. I think we're, we're getting ready to withdraw. Just because we're running out of arrows, we're not in the best situation. We've killed about 45% of their army, which is excellent. That's really good stuff. For him. That's really not bad at all. But I think we're kind of ready to just to just go. Yeah, I think we're ready to go, to be honest. Let's, let's get the withdrawal order. We're ready to go. That's decent. I don't consider that a loss. 
20% to 45%. And actually, the raw figure, like I said, much bigger because their army was much bigger. So I'm happy with that. I think we're, we're set to go back to Haptra in good shape. And although the Seleucids will be going, oh, yes, we got the victory. Oh, we got a close victory. Well done. Well, actually, your general died as well. And we got 196 kills and you got 507. And actually, the, the armies now look a pretty similar size. And we have got four generals and you have not a single one, my friend. So uh, not a bad situation. I feel much more confident about retaking Hatra back, which is good. Let's end the turn. Maybe for the final time today. I'm not really sure. Maybe, maybe not. We shall see. The Parthians are back. Ah, goddamn Parthians are back. Okay. Oh my god, this campaign. We should have finished them off. The how is everything going so wrong? I don't know. Writing in Seleucia. Good, good. Just, just all, all die. That would be nice. Okay. Oh, what a mess. What a mess. Faction announcements. Coming of age. That's pretty good timing. Sarduri, where are you? In Hatra. Okay. Okay. Um, you're 16 with doubtful courage, which isn't good. But okay, just try and do as much as you can. There's no point doing that. There's, um, it's under siege, but okay. And there's nothing in Seleucia. Are we seriously going to lose Seleucia after all this to the goddamn Parthians? We might. We might. We're going to have to just recruit in, Sel in Susa and just try and get back over as quickly as we can. But we just have to leave that for a second. We're, we can go and take Seleucia back. Um, we're letting the Egyptians do their thing over there. Hatra. Now, the situation. This army is now looking way weaker. And I think we could go and attack them back straight away if necessary. But maybe if we brought you four, you three, and you, and attacked, how would that look? He's backed off. He's backed off like the coward they are. You're not looking so strong now, are you? But you know what? I want to finish you off. I don't know if we're going to be able to with this few amount of horse archers, but I want to finish you off. So, Captain Adamos, I've had enough of you. You, don't, you dare attack Hatra. Give me a second while I get some more men over. We're going to bring the new guy over, Sarduri. So, we now have five gen... This army's looking pretty... I mean, you say it's looking strong. It's, it's also looking pretty weak at the same time, but still. Um, yeah. Captain Adamos, you're about to die, mate. You're about to, well, I mean, probably. But anyway, yeah, let's fight this. I just want to wipe out this Seleucid army so I don't see them again. Ah, oh, this, do you know the main issue has been economy this this campaign? Because we just simply don't have enough troops. And we've been attacked from all angles. We've literally been attacked by the Scythians, the Pontics, the Seleucids, the Egyptians, and the Parthians. I've never seen this much mess. And I blame the Scythians most of all, because we could have diverted the troops up from the north, down to the south, and wiped out the Seleucids by now, and the Parthians, incidentally. Either way, I don't know what I'm whinging about. Let's win this battle and wipe out this Seleucid army once and for all. We've done quite well against the Seleucids today, less so against other factions. Alright, here we are. This is going to be a similar battle, to be honest. Now, I didn't want to bring the really, really small troops, because... When we get an opportunity, eventually, to retrain them, we want to retrain them and then be able to recruit more rather than just having no units to retrain because it only takes one turn to retrain troops. So let's start the battle. Let's move forward against the Seleucids and kill as many of them as possible. We may not be able to kill them all before our arrows run out, but that's not a big deal. If that's the case, we'll just let them live. It, it, there'll be a tiny scrap by that point that's still alive. So it should be okay. It should be okay. Now, what have we actually got over here? Eastern mercenaries. We've got a couple of units of light cavalry. Um, we've got a unit of mercenary peltasts and a unit of peasants. So, pretty much garbage. What we can do is, if we get three generals, let's get these three lads coming around the back and starting to maybe deal with the rubbish units at the back. And we can try and distract the light cavalry over here. Hopefully they won't get involved. If they do, we can just retreat. Or, you know, retreat out of that area. But these guys are going to be on Operation Kill the Peltasts. And, of course, if the spearmen are clever enough to actually defend them, then that won't be too easy. But just charge in there. Just avoid those. Just avoid them. Just avoid them. No, the light cavalry has noticed what we're doing and coming over. I think. No, they haven't. I don't know what they're quite doing. We're just going to get a quick charge in. Go on. Go and get a quick charge in. Just against the peasants. Just to ruin their morale. That's it. That's it. 
Hurt them or out. Hurt them or out. Go over there. Don't go into the spearmen. Don't go into the spearmen. Into the peltasts. Into the peltasts. Shaken. Not sure how three generals can't get down a unit of peltasts. Mercenary ones at that. So they should have lower morale. But okay. Okay, game. Okay. Yeah, that's realistic, isn't it? There's ten. There's ten against three generals. Yeah, that's realistic. Ah, that's, that's, that's very tasty. Alright, yeah, there you go. Finally. And now it's just a matter of firing in on the remaining units. Um, they're eager, so just avoid them. Not sure what you're doing all the way out here, Sarduri, the new lad. I know this is your first battle. I know you're new to this kind of thing, but just be a little bit sensible. Oh, we've got Eastern Mercenaries. They're rubbish. So ignore them. So how are we doing so far? 3% to 28%. That's decent. We've got men routing over there. We just need to advance forward against these annoying militia hoplites. But we're doing a good job. I think we can charge those Arab cavalry. They're, they're light infantry. They're light cavalry. We can we can defeat them. Go on. Go on. You need to get involved as well, though, mate, you little coward. Go on. Don't be a little coward. There, there we go. Yeah, we did get rid of them. Now we need to get out of there because the hoplites. So it's now just hoplites, which is good. You need to get out of there as well. I said get out of there. That's the wrong direction. Wrong direction. Over over this way. So now it's literally just militia hoplites to deal with. It's a matter of can we defeat them before they're before our arrows run out. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Okay, we've killed nearly half of them. I'm just wondering if we can charge in, but honestly, eager, 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 eager. Yeah, I'd rather not. I'd rather not. Right, these rubbish Eastern mercenaries can be dealt with, though. They're rubbish. Charge in from both sides and they'll be completely gone for. Go on. Right, these guys are shaken. Let's hit them from the back. Come on, Sarduri. This is your, this is your debut fight. I'm saying this like it's the UFC or something, but whatever. Just while they got their spears up. Nope. Okay, they got their spears down. You need to come and help then. Come on, attack from both sides and they won't know where to put their spears. There we go, there we go, there we go. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. We can get them down. Good. We've got another unit down. Um, but yeah, if we go in both directions, they won't know where to point their spears. And we can just hit them from both sides. There we go. Broken. Good. It's now literally just three units of militia hoplites. It's whether we can get them down without destroying ourselves. I mean, we... Right, let's just get all the generals, not the faction leader, though. He's far too important. Coming over in this direction. I'm going to see if I can kill the odd unit of militia hoplites. Uh, just because I really want to finish these guys off. That would be very nice to get another victory for Ruza. Would be nice indeed. Come on, you need to run. Sarduri, the new guy. First day on the job, I know it's a little bit tricky, but try and not be chronically lazy. There we go, they all broke. Good, 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 good. Um, let's just hit them while they're pointing their spears the wrong way. And they've broken as well, and there we go. Beautiful. So we actually did do a pretty good job there. Uh, very nice stuff. So I'll mop all them up. We only got... 7% losses, I'll absolutely take that. And I think a lot of them was actually the General's Bodyguard, which is fine because they recover naturally over time for free. It's the only unit in the game that does. So very good stuff. Uh, yeah, so that army's been completely destroyed. And we've done well against the Seleucids today. We have. We have. The Hatra situation has been solved. It's more Egypt betraying us and the Parthians returning that has been the major two blows of this episode. We haven't actually lost any territory, so it's not too bad. It's not too bad. But Hatra is... Look at how clear this area is. Not a Seleucid in sight. And I think we should start marching towards Antioch. If we literally had an opportunity to retrain these guys, which we don't. <laughs> so maybe not. Um, but just go inside Hatra for the moment, I think. We've got a decent sized army here in Artazata ready to defend it if necessary. I'm hoping the Scythians attack. If they don't buy next turn then I will attack them but that will be next episode. The Scythians are also here in Fraspar. Fraspar really hasn't got anything so there's not a lot we can do there. Arsakia is just trying to get men over as quickly as possible. Um, so yeah, please come over as quickly as possible. Please come over as quickly as possible. Uh, yeah. Oh my lord, just do what you're told. So we're going to see if the Scythians attack. The Parthians will almost certainly take Seleucia. It's fine. We'll build up an army in Susa to retake it. It's unfortunate, but these things happen. I should have gone down to Martha and defeated them, but unfortunately I didn't. That's what happens. I think we can hold the Egyptians at Palmyra and Hatra. We've got to wait three turns until we get those stables. There's not a lot we can do otherwise. I mean, we could get the generals to come down and kill Palmyra. I mean, this army here, Captain Hermias, that's terrible. Maybe we could chase after them. 
very briefly. I might get Prusias to sort of have a look at this sort of Antioch area. But otherwise, yeah, let's end the turn one more time. See what happens. See what all manner of disastrous things will happen. The only good thing that came out of that Protector of Egypt was a, bought us a tiny bit of time and also meant that we're no longer at war with Pontus. That's it. Now, the Seleucids have got a lot of force near Antioch. A lot. A lot of force. But okay, we'll deal with that when we can. Pontic's moving around. Uh, I don't really care about what Britannia and Dacia are doing. Scythians don't do anything, incidentally, which is actually kind of annoying, but okay. Right. End of turn report. Hand pump invented. Plague of Macedonia. Good. I don't care. Screw the Macedonians. Even though the, they have nothing to do with us, but still. Uh, Numidia and Scipio have allied. Weird, but okay. Uh, so, right. Hatra. Two turns until the, our beloved stables are built. Seleucia. I don't know what's quite going on there. But okay, they're just trying to drag it out for a bit longer. We need to just keep recruiting in Susa. So actually, a lot, not a lot happened that turn. But it's okay. It's okay. Uh, you need to get over to Fraspar quickly. Get in the zone of control. Good. And the same goes for you. You can join him pretty soon as well. But I'm going to leave it here. We currently have three, four settlements under siege. And how many do we own? Six or seven? We own seven, and over half of them are under siege. That's how crazy this campaign's been. But I think we can mark today as a good step forward against the Seleucids, but a step back everywhere, literally everywhere else. But anyway, we'll worry about that another time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you around.